Should you do a first look on your wedding day? Now, this is a question that I get pretty often. I've been filming weddings for over seven years now, and there's a lot of discussion around first looks. So I wanted to kind of break down a few things about first looks. One, obviously, what it is, pros and cons of it, and then, of course, some variations of it as well, um, just so you can then make a better decision on whether or not it's right for you on your wedding day. So first things first, what is first look? Um, pretty straightforward. It's essentially just when you guys see each other, um, you and your spouse, you guys see each other before the actual walking down the aisle part, you know, the ceremony. Now, the first pro of first looks, honestly, is just that you actually get to spend some time with each other. Um, because to be honest, during a wedding day, there's so much going on that oftentimes you won't really get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. So it will give you that chance. And then secondly, and I would say probably arguably the best benefit of doing a first look is that you can actually get a lot of your photos out of the way before the ceremony. Whereas, and this is kind of another added benefit, you may be taking a bunch of pictures at the end of the day during the reception, and you won't actually have as much time to spend with family and friends and other people who are there uh, to see you guys on the day of. So honestly, it's it's pretty beneficial in that way. So, okay, so next I want to just mention some of the cons. Honestly, there's really only a main one that I see as the main con here is just that it does kind of ruin that traditional sense of waiting until you guys get to see each other at the ceremony while you're walking down the aisle. It can ruin some of that, you know, anticipation and build up that I think a lot of people, you know, are excited for on the wedding day. So honestly, I think that's where you kind of have to determine like what's more important to you. Like if you really want to make sure you maintain that and you want to save that for the ceremony, then obviously it doesn't make a lot of sense for you. And I know for some people that it doesn't actually ruin that anticipation. Like, yes, you know, you already seen each other, but like, I know a lot of brides really want to see the reaction, you know, from the groom. They want they want the uh, the emotional reaction. But honestly, I've seen so many grooms cry both at the first look and during the the ceremony. Um, it doesn't always ruin that anticipation. Obviously, it can, but I really do think it just kind of depends on the person at that point. Now, with that said, there are a couple variations. Like if you're like, yeah, I don't really want to do a first look, there are a couple variations and things that you could do with or without it. So the first one being what they would call like a first touch, which is essentially like a first look, but you don't actually see each other. So essentially first touch is when you'd be around a door or around a corner. So you'd actually get the chance to then, you know, hear each other and, you know, be around each other's presence, but you don't actually see each other. You're not really ruining that anticipation per se. Um, and then something that kind of goes along with this, a lot of people like to do either letter readings for one, and that doesn't have to be with a first touch or a first look. Um, that can be completely separate or, you know, reading a letter to each other around a corner, around a door and, or we also have private vows, which private vows, some people, you know, will read private vows during a first touch where they don't see each other or even after a first look. Um, so that's just a couple variations there. So that's just my perspective after shooting hundreds of weddings over the years, um, whether or not you actually decide to do one, it's fully up to you. A lot of people would consider a first look to be non-traditional, but at the end of the day, it's your wedding. You know, do whatever you want to do. Ultimately, that's what matters.